Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions. Um, I have never filmed one of these before. It was really, really stressful trying to make products work that don't work for your skin or your colours. It just like, it was stressful. So if you guys want to see how it went, then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the uh, Model Co Skin Perfecting Beauty Bar. This one was from the Hailey Baldwin collection. And I'm just going to pop that over my face. Face. Never used any of these before, so this will be interesting. I don't even know what this is supposed to do. Why am I using this? Illuminating Beauty Flash Balm um, to give your skin a fresh, glowing complexion. You can wear it alone or as a priming base under your makeup. It feels really sticky, actually. So the only primer I haven't actually tried is the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. Mmm. Lord, give me strength. I hate this as a setting spray. I think it's one of Rimmel's most like pathetic products they've ever come out with. I think it sucks and it's as if they didn't even try it before they released it. I love Rimmel. They're one of my favourite brands, but this is like appalling. It leaves white marks on your face. I have tried it as a setting spray, but I haven't tried it as a primer. Um, it's very, very highly fragranced. I don't love it and I know I'm not going to like it as a primer, but I have nothing else to use, so I'm just going to take on for the team. I'm actually terrified because it stinks so bad. Lord, give me strength. That is disgusting. That is so heavily fragranced. I literally could not breathe after I sprayed it. If you look at the ingredients of this, the second ingredient is alcohol. Um, and when you look at ingredients, the order they go in is what is the highest percentage that's in there, if that makes sense. If you have any sort of problem, skin, pimples, acne, anything, don't touch this. I just know that it's not gonna be a fun time. I feel like I'm just gonna get taken off Rimmel's PR list for saying that. I like rave about that whole brand, but that one product infuriates me. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be trying for the first time the Ordinary High Coverage Foundation. Never tried this. I know that this color is not gonna match me. <coughs> Why did I sneeze on my beauty blender? Why? Oh, it's that stupid spray. It's like in my nose. But yeah, I'm pretty positive this is way too dark for me right now. Just because this is like a week old tan. But we're going to give it a go anyway. I haven't tried any of the Ordinary's um, <laughs> foundations yet. I've only tried their primer and skincare and love them. So I'm hoping this one will be as good as the rest of the brand. Oh, this is very dark. Yeah, it's too dark for me. Oh well, it's first impression, let's just go with it. Oh, it's very olive. Uh, whatever. Maybe, oh my god, it's so dark. Oh my god, I'm literally like pure yellow. This isn't working out, so... <laughs> We're going to go in with the Astralis Matchmaker Shade Adjusting Drops in Lightning. I have not tried this either, so it'd be a good time to try on these two together. I kind of want to take this off. Yes. We're going to start this again. Okay. So I guess I need to respray my face with this. Oh my god. It's like not a fun time. So I guess I'll just use the back of my hand. I will put three pumps on. I think that might be too much, damn it. Okay, whatever. And some shade adjusting drops. We'll go with one, maybe two. No, one. Because this is like pure white, so hopefully that lightens it up a little bit. That'll do. That will do. Damn, still too dark. I used so many of those drops. Okay, seriously, I used probably about eight plus of these drops. I honestly don't think I can really give a first impression of this because I mix those drops in, so I feel like that would have changed what this is, like the formula of this and everything like that, so I might need to do a separate video on this when I get a different colour. Because <sighs> right now I feel really greasy and really sticky, but I'm sure it's from those drops. 
For concealer, I'm going to try the Kat Von D Look at Concealer in Warm Medium 17. So this is the Warm 17. Looks very, very light for a medium shade. Oh, that's thick as heck. Wow, that is so thick. So we're going very full coverage today. They're easily the thickest concealer I've ever tried. <laughs> Blends out pretty well though actually, it's not too like dry. Might just go in with another layer of that. It's because I have very bad under eyes. Fix that situation. I might pop some in the center of my face just to kind of lighten up that area, even though I don't want any more coverage. Like, it didn't do a bad job. It's very, very thick though. I don't know if I'd wear it on an everyday basis. Probably more for like a special occasion concealer. Um, to set the face, I'm going to try the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder in Light Beige. I guess because I absolutely adore the Healthy Mix foundation, so I'm hoping that the powder will be equally as good. And I think it's a little bit light for me, so I'm kind of glad now because this is like way too dark. Way too dark. It's a bit dark for my under eyes though, so I might just chuck on some my usual banana powder because I don't want to put my face powder on these my eyes so I'm just going to quickly set that concealer because it is so thick I can imagine it's prone to creasing it's usually the case yeah it's already creased my eyelids but that's all good just set those bad boys Okay, so going in with that powder, I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and pat that on my face because I'm still very, very shiny. It's still a little bit tacky even with powder over the top, so I'm positive it's those Australis drops that are adding the oil to it. So I think I will rebuy it in another colour and maybe do like a whole first impression for you guys because I feel like this just was not very good. Okay, so I'm like super high coverage right now, like it's kind of ridiculous. For a contour, I'm going to use the um, Hayley Baldwin from Model Co. The Filter Contour and Glow Powder. It just comes in this little duo here. I'm going to use that to bronze up. Oh no, maybe I don't need to bronze because I'm already too dark. <laughs> Okay, we're not going to bronze, we're just going to use that to add a bit of a contour. Just underneath the cheekbone, it's very very warm this shade. Okay, I'm going to use the highlight in that palette. Oh, that's very powdery. Okay. It's actually quite pretty, that's not bad at all. It's not like super intense, but it does the job pretty well. For like a drugstore highlight. Hmm. The highlight's actually really nice. The blush I'm going to try it, this, um, it's the Ellen Tracy Blush and Highlighter Collection. It's like a little book of um, highlights and blushes. Which one do I go for? I don't even know what eye look I'm going to do, so. Oh. This is what it looks like. I might mix these two guys down the bottom together and give that a go and see what that creates because I don't have a clue what look I'm doing so I don't really know what blush I need. Probably should have thought this through before I started. Oh, that's powdery as well. Why is my lighting being a little turd? Okay, so those are like super powdery as well. When I dip my brush in, it just like flicks powder everywhere. Oh my god, I don't like that. It's like not blending. It's kind of like chalky and it doesn't really blend that well. 
and I'm not picky with blushes like as long as it adds a little bit of a color to my cheek I am like happy with it but this is like a bit like I've never really used one that's done this it doesn't look bad on camera it's just in person it looks a bit like like sitting on top of the skin for the brows I'm going to try out the benefit precisely my brow pencil Bava web waterproof yes are you joking that is adorable that is so cute I received a um, PR package from Benefit the other day, which was like the most exciting day of my entire existence. I love this style of a brow pencil as well, with like the little micro tip to it. Oh my god, I love this. And to top off the brows, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow. I'm so excited to try this. This is so, so popular and I've never tried it. What the heck? I didn't realize that was the packaging. Oh, and it has a baby brush. Why do I look like Lord Farquaad with this hair? Oh my god, I love this little tiny brush. Oh my god, this is just like a heavenly experience. I'm going to try some of this Kiko eyeshadow in Smart to highlight my inner corner and brow bone. It's a bit of like a champagne-y highlight color. Pretty good. You can probably use this as a face highlighter actually. For the eyes, I'm going to very, very lightly dip into the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette because I really want to film some proper tutorials with this. Um, but it's the only real palette I have at the moment that I haven't tried. So I'm only going to do something really basic and simple because I really want to do some good tutorials. So like this is insane. I don't even know where to start. Am I just going with some of these like warm matte tones along this row here and mix a few of those in. I'm going to go in with that mustardy yellow shade because that's amazing. Oh yep, yeah, these are so pigmented. I knew these was going to be like amazing quality and so pigmented so I don't really have to comment on this. Like it's very, very good. And they blend out amazingly. Okay, I'm just going to use like a warm brown on my lid, very basic. I really want to do like a few tutorials with this because there are so many different colours that you could do so many different looks with it. So I want to really get into it. Just using like a um, ready brown shade through the crease. I might chuck some purple in there too later actually. Oh, no, this will do. That yellow just complements this so good. Oh my god, I'm so happy with that mustard shade that I first used. Like, I think that's like my favorite color in this palette. But yeah, I'd love to do like a couple of tutorials with this palette because there's so many different colors, so many different combinations. And I'm just like so overwhelmed by it. I don't even know where to start. For the bottom lash line, I'm just going to apply the yellow and smoke that out and then apply a little bit of that crease shade to the outer edges. I'm going to use a bit of that, it's so big, some of that shimmery shade there in my inner corner just to brighten up the whole area. Oh, hello. For right then, I'm going to try the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Hot Chocolate. It's just a retractable wind up in a brown. Oh yes, that glides on so well. That is so good. These are so cheap as well. I think they're like less than $5 and they just glide on. I'm just going to chuck on some lashes really quick. These are the Red Cherry 43s, of course. I'm just going to try the Rimmel Scandalized Reloaded Waterproof. Not too bad. It's definitely more of like a natural looking mascara. It's not too dramatic, but I don't like really thick bottom lashes anyway, so it's pretty good. For the lips, I have two options. I'm not sure which one I'm going for. Oh no, it's smudging. 
Let's just like put mascara all underneath my eyes. So for lips, I have two options, either the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet in 07 or the Too Faced Melted in Melted Candy. I might try the Bourjois, I think. Oh, that's quite nice. It's very smooth. It's been about 10 minutes, so I've let that lip set a little bit. It's definitely not like a matte. I would call it a velvet finish though because it's not super shiny. It's very comfortable, but I wouldn't say it's matte. So yeah, as you can see, the foundation's still a little bit too dark for me, but I tried to, to work with it. Um, but I do really like it. The coverage is amazing. I just need to get a bit of a better color. Love the eyeshadow. I love the powder. The highlight is really, really nice. That was probably one of the highlights for this video. That was pathetic. Let's never do that again. Brows, amazing. I'll be using them like every day. Um, eyeshadow, perfection in a palette. It is gorgeous and I cannot wait to film some tutorials with it. The eyeliner stayed on really, really well. The mascara, I... Like, it's okay. It's just it's so wet that you need to really concentrating on... You need to really concentrate on not looking down or doing anything with your eyes, really. Lips are not really for me. The colours are not really me. I don't really wear pinks. And if I'm going to wear a lipstick, it has to be like a really long wear or matte finish. And this is like a velvet finish. Like, it's not bad. It's definitely really comfortable on lips. So if you're someone who likes not a lot of shine but comfort, then this could be for you. It's definitely setting more as I, like, talk. What else? The blush is, like, it's okay. But it's, I feel like it kind of sits on top of the skin a little bit. So I don't know if I'll really be using that one a lot. Which, I think it was really cheap, so it's not much of a loss. Um, the bronzer contour is really nice. So it wasn't too much of a fail. It started off really bad, but we did it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any opinions of the products I use, then please leave them below because I would love to hear. And I'll hopefully see you all in my next video. Bye!